Hi, I'm Ludwig Sarenstahl. Welcome to my Masterclass Extra for Horse and Country TV. Um, this is Bala Mist, which uh, I'll be riding in this jumping exercise, which will hopefully improve the jumping over the winter. It's um, about getting the horse relaxed and jumping well. It's, uh, the basics is we have four trotting poles, which uh, we will trot over, which is one meter apart. And then we have two meter to what we will start on the first trotting poles, but then later on will be our oxer as we build the exercise up. Um, and then we have three meter to a pole because we want the horse to land in canter and take a proper first canter stride. And then first I will start just going straight and it will be important that I stay straight so the horse has know that it, every, always when I jump they stay straight and go out to the corner. And eventually as I build the exercise up, I will go to Every second time I will go to the Oxa, where it's 18 meters, which I will do four strides. And then I have 21 and a half meter to the combination, which is five strides. And then seven meters in between, which is a normal stride. And this will improve the horse jumping and technique, but also make the horse more rideable. So here I'm warming up the horse. And I think it's very important that I get the horse in front of the leg but also supple and soft and before I jump I think it's very important that the horse is relaxed. I don't want to start jumping with a horse that's tense and so on because then I don't believe the horse will jump well. And a lot of the time I ride around the fences just to make the horse sometimes they can be a little bit spooky and so on just to make it a little bit more relaxed about it. And, that it can make a circle sometimes around the jumps just to be relaxed. Like here, this horse is a little bit looking here and I just want him to be relaxed. So I keep on doing another circle because I want him to be relaxed. Good. Okay, so now I'm about to start this brilliant exercise. And uh, I start in trot, I've taken down the oxa, just because I want to take my time. So I have the horse nice, relaxed, and I don't want it to be tensed. So here I come, good, good. So there he was quite relaxed, but a little bit here afterwards, he gets a little bit tensed and not really listening. And as I want him to be rideable and relaxed, I do a transition to walk. Then I pick up trot again and I stay straight. It's not every time I stay straight, but most of the time. Um, because I want the horse always to stay straight after a fence. And it's, it's uh, important because a lot of horses cut corners and so on, and it will always make it more difficult to ride to the next fence. Um, and because it's, it's always the, the approach for the next fence start when you finish the previous fence or almost before. So there was not so good because he took off one step too early. He should put a, another trot step before the, he um, got over the first pole. And I don't really want that either for various of reasons, but for the jumping, I think it's much better that he take a small step, so he's a little bit thinks about how he is in front and a little bit quicker, that he doesn't get too slow and, and big in his movement and just take a big trot step. Much rather see that he takes a small one. And here I come again. Oh, better. That's good. Oh, then I just do a transition to walk, thinking of soft hand, towards the walk, give him a pat, good boy. Okay, so now when I've trotted over the poles a couple of times, the horse feels been quite relaxed, and now I feel I'm ready to start jumping. Start quite small, and then I will build it up. But it's also here that I, before I approach it, the horse needs to be relaxed as well. Okay. 
<laughs> Sit down over this trot pose. Oh, good. Oh, oh. So there he was. He was good over the poles and then he runs off a little bit. So here you just do a transition to walk. Stay straight. Give him a pat and do it again. I was maybe a little bit that over the poles. Maybe he was running a little bit. I would like him to be a little bit more relaxed. But it was also that when I do it, I have one step in, in between the poles, but I have two in front of the fence. And some horses will try to cheat and do one, one step in front of the fence in order to create more room. But it's important that I keep two steps. Good. Oh. Good. Oh. Purr. Purr. This horse needs to learn a little bit to wait. There he jumps a little bit too much forward. Good. Okay, so now we put it up. But I still, I still don't want him to rush. I want him to stay quiet and relaxed. Just because it's bigger, I don't want to, him to run more. I just want this quite relaxed trot. Oh, good. Good. I still do transition to trot. Now to walk. So that was a mistake a little bit from him. He needs to learn there to be better in front. But I think it's, this is also maybe a little bit of exercise which is difficult for him. I, and I've, never re, I've actually never done this exercise with him before. But I think it's, it's a good exercise and he will learn from it because he wants to, he gets a little bit too keen. He wants to jump too much on speed instead of just having on strength and on balance. Oh, better, good. Now I keep canter because he stayed relaxed and was good, but I stay straight. So now I put it up three again, but I think it's still important that I don't try to have more speed, still try to keep the same rhythm. Oh, good. So now, and now he stayed good afterwards. Relaxed, and he was good over the jump. He came up nicely. Maybe a little bit that he was rushing over the trot poles. Um, but I was, I was quite happy with him. For him, he felt, he felt good there. So now I'm coming again here, and now I put it up again, and I just want him to ho, ho, ho. Good boy. So there, it, he was quite good. For him, he felt good. He, he didn't jump too forward. He was listening. Okay, maybe still that he gets a little bit, um, little bit that he increased the tempo over the trotting poles. And what I can do then is that I turn away, like I will do now. Just because I don't want him, I want him to be a little bit more waiting maybe. And it's, it's a way of, if you have a horse that runs, a lot of horses, I think they're a little bit keen and run, like now he's a little bit tense, ho, oh, oh, ho, just turn away. And, and just for him that he doesn't always need to run and that he takes his time, I want him to be relaxed. Like now he's still a little bit tense. So I decide, okay, I do another one. I don't jump this time. Oh, good. Yeah, good. And that's okay, okay? He's stumbled a little bit, but it's okay. And now next time I come. And I don't want to be riding strong. The horse should do the job itself. And it's a little bit like, no matter what horse you are now. Good. Yeah, he, he, this was good for him. And, I mean, every horse is very different. Yeah? You, you have some horses that maybe a little bit not as experienced and so on. But it's always about taking your time. You know, if, if you have a cob that runs to a fence, Jump, uh, trotting over this pole be very difficult. But then it's always about 
taking your time and it's no stress. If, if I need to take a day of just doing the trot poles, that's okay. But it's better that I take a day to do the trot poles than that I say, okay, now I need to jump today and I need to rush and the horse doesn't jump well. It's always take your time and it's not, sometimes you say, okay, I jump and sometimes they end up just riding on the flat because the horse is not relaxed enough and listening well enough to jump. And that's okay, it's, it's not the end of the world. It's more important to do the right thing for the horse. Okay, so now I put up this big fat ox. So I'm going to jump for the first time feeling a bit scared and I just take a deep breath and think okay I'll be nice to people this month and hopefully God will be nice to me. Um, no but it's still quite small but I, I, I don't want to put any pressure I just want to be relaxed like not scared like I was there but I'm just taking a transition to walk and say good boy good boy well done I survived. So now we can do it again and maybe this time we can bring the combination as well. Oh. So that was better. That was better. A little bit happier with that. I think I focused a little bit more on the jump this time. That was good. Okay, now we're going to change a little bit. So the whole, he got a little bit hot there. So now I'm just trying to cool him down and get him relaxed again. I think I will come over the trot poles and just do them once where I turn away. Just so he doesn't get so hot and it stays rideable. Because I, sometimes like, he's quite nice horses on, but he, he sometimes gets a little bit hot. And when he's hot, he gets a little bit less rideable. So there, here, and, and I just turn away. Good. Just that he listens and that he doesn't run. But equally now I need to be a little bit more positive to the, to the double. Good volume. Oh! So there, as I landed from the oxer, I was a little bit slow. I should have been a little bit more positive to start with as I landed to the double. Okay, so now I'm coming again here. I was not very happy with the previous time. So a little bit that he gets a, he doesn't jump in so well in combinations there, but he was and he jumps in a little bit too far. Ideally, I would like him to jump in a little bit quieter because he gets really close to the second one. And okay, it's because I increased the canter there, but still he jumps in a little bit too much flat. It would be better if he was a little bit rounder. Okay, I do one last one. See if we can jump a clear round. That would be amazing. Incredible. Okay, this is my last shot. The question is, Fram Oxa, if I'm going to make it or not? It's the question. But, um, yeah, so now I will go here over these trotting poles to the oxa and then come backwards to the combination and it's very important that I go oh, oh good so there you now he runs a little bit I just soft and ride him through Oh, good boy. Now I just come to this oxer again because I wasn't very happy. Better, better, better. This is my exercise for my master class extra, and I think it's a really good exercise to do over the winter. 
getting the horses to jump correctly and relaxed and be rideable. Because as you see, my horse was a little bit unrideable sometimes where he gets a little bit strong and so on. And it's a little bit that you need to be able to change canter, ride forward, wait and hold and so on. So without the horse getting a little bit tense or run away. And it's all these things you need to do in order to get there. And this is what we will do to hopefully improve this over the winter. And as you see, he sometimes got a little bit strong or a little bit tensed over the trotting poles and so on. But I just take my time and, and I think it's the same. It's always about patience and that you don't get stressed or rushed before jumping because the more you do in the beginning and the more correct you get it, the better the exercise will work. So that's it for us. Thank you.